Welcome to Titley Scientific's tutorial video series for Anabat Insight. In this video, you'll learn how to use the mapping features of Insight. I'm starting with a walking transect dataset recorded on a walkabout, and I have already used the Bat Classify tool to label the files with species. If we open one of these files, we can see the metadata for that file appears in the metadata panel. I can scroll down to location to see the GPS coordinates of where the file was recorded. There is also a small map waypoint icon. I can click on this icon to open the map and display where the file was recorded. The map has appeared as a tab in the spectrogram window. I will use the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in and out of the map. And I can click and drag the map to pan around. I can close the map by clicking the close button in the top right of the map window. Now I would like to see where all the myotis calls were recorded. So first, I will group my folder by species. Then I'll expand the myotis group. I can use the control and shift keys to select multiple recordings. I will right click on the selected recordings and choose show on map. If I zoom in, I can see where all four recordings were taken. Now I would like to view the GPS track from the walkabout. If I go to the Other Files folder, I can double click on the GPX track to open it on the map. To show all of the map data in the folder, right click on the folder and click Show on Map. This will display all of the recording waypoints and the GPX track. If you would like to know which recording corresponds to a particular waypoint, click on the waypoint. A grey bar showing the file name will appear at the top of the window. Click on this bar to open the file. You'll see it's appeared as another tab. I can also choose to tile the map and spectrogram tabs to view both at once. If I would like to export the mapping data in the folder, I can use the reporting tool. Click on Analysis, then select Generate Reports. I've decided to export the whole folder. I will choose KML Map as the report type, then select Generate. Choose the destination you would like the KML file to be saved. Because I have Google Earth as the default program set on my computer for KML files, it will automatically open when complete. Because the files have already been labelled with species, the waypoints will automatically be displayed with the species name. I can click on a waypoint to view the file information. This KML file can be opened in any GIS software. If you have any questions, check out the user manual on our website or send me an email at julie.com.
bb at titley-scientific.com. Thanks.